We're going to practice our number formation in this super snow I have in my tray. So we're going to start with zero. So get your Peter pointer finger and start at the top. Around and around we go. And when we get home, we have a zero. Did you do it? Should we have another try? Let's do number one this time. So we start at the top again. Number one is like a stick, a straight line that is very quick. There's my number one in the snow. Okay, should we try another one? Let's do number, what number do you think comes next? Number two. So again, we're gonna start at the top, around and back on the railroad track. Number two. One more than two is three, that's right. So we're gonna imagine there are some trees here and we're gonna drive around the trees. So starting at the top, around a tree, around a tree, that's the way we make a three. What do you think will be next? That's right, number four. So again, we start at the top, down and over, and down once more. That's the way we make a four. Very good. Okay, the next number after four is, that's right, five. So we're gonna start at the top again. Straight line down, then around, hat on top, and five's a clown. Because clowns wear hats, don't they? Five is a very tricky one with its big fat tummy there. The next number we're going to practice is the next number after five, one more than five, it's number six. So we're going to start at the top, make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. Oh, I like doing that one. That was nice and easy, that one. Okay, one more than six is seven. So starting here at the top, across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way we make a seven. Fantastic. Okay, the number that comes after seven is eight. Well done. So starting at the top. Now I know you have all been learning letter S that makes a S sound. Make an S and do not wait. Go back up and that's an eight. So you should be really good at that if you're good at your letter S. Okay, after eight, the number after eight is number nine. So I'm going to start here. A loop and then a line. Well, that makes a nine. Did you get it right? Did you do that too? Okay, the last one. I bet nobody knows what one more than nine is. Well done, it's 10, isn't it? Now, we know the numbers, but can we write them? This one is two digits, so we have to write two numerals. Are you ready? Number one, straight line down, and then around with a grin. That's the way we make a 10. We did it, we wrote all our numbers one to 10. Keep practicing and you can even do it on paper if you think you're really good at it. See you soon, bye.